All right, this time at the Quick Speed Shop, you can see behind me back there, I got the Ford Econoline Boogie Van project I'm working on. And I'm at the final piece of the puzzle here before we're going to start this build. I went to the junkyard to get some parts I needed. And I'll bring you along, I'll show you what I got. So here we go, let's get in the truck and we're going right now. I'm a professional, don't try this at home. Okay, I'm going to head off to the junkyard. I'm going to pick up my friend, uh, Old Ted. He's been in some other videos. We're going to a U-Pullet yard. There's a couple of uh, Ford Econoline vans like the one behind me. There's an 89 and a 90. I haven't seen them. I'm looking for components. Hopefully they got them. A real quick introduction if you don't know what I'm talking about or haven't followed along. I bought this Ford Econoline van. It's an E150. It's a 1988. I bought it last year during COVID and it was a handicap uh, power uh, paraplegic van with full handicap controls in it and i did a couple of videos where i ripped all that electronic nonsense out and had a whole, this whole pod that ran everything and all that and a, a power floor and power door locks and a power ram to run the door and it used to have a lift gate in it well, anyways i bought it from a guy they had like half taken it apart i've stripped it apart the van is rust free i'm going to backdate it to 1977 and build a 1977 uh boogie van with the rec vector mag wheels, uh, fender flares eventually, custom paint job and all that. But in the meantime, I've got to get the thing going and it's got some weird components, like it's got a tiller, uh, electronic tiller for the steering column. And I'm looking, I've am looking. i been looking all over the place for a steering column. This junkyard out about an hour east of me showing two vans in the, in the inventory list. So we're gonna run over there and hopefully I can find some parts I need. So here we go, let's pop up at the junkyard. Okay, here's our first victim. We got a uh, Econoline panel van. It's a 90, and it's got the correct steering column I need. Unfortunately, it's missing steering column. Somebody's taken the wheel apart and broken the outside cover. I can fix that, but it's got a nice uh, column that's going to work here. The, the oh, there's Ted. He's here. Okay. He's I got him looking for the key. It's got a little uh, sloppiness in the shifter, but it's the only steering column I can find around the hunt for the key. What else we got here? We got a stump and bumper action. So we're on the hunt for the key. It's got 138 or 238 on it. Let me open the hood and see what we got here. Uh -huh. That's where I need to unhook it right down there. It's a little crunchy. I wish I had the key so we could operate the action. We're gonna have to do what we can do with. Where's the prop rod? That appears to be gone. So it looks like I gotta drop this column off here. It's there, I need that. Yeah, pull this out, pull these off. Three bolts there. It's like humid and 90 degrees out already. What I really need this column for, it's the AOD with the overdrive and I need the, the uh, bracket off the transmission and the shifter rod and all that because the, the gray van, all that's been removed. So How the hell are you gonna get all the, that it's very easy, it's laying right under there. Here we go, she's coming down. If we go under the hood next on both the steering box, uh, the rag joint. I'm just happy to be able to find one of these vans. They've freaking been disappearing like crazy. They used to be everywhere, now they're all gone. Oh, oh look at that, look at that. Right Save your birds. Save your birds. Look at that. Oh, there's I'm all kinds. Plug that harness. I'm going to take the harness with me because I, I don't know which end uh -oh, of it. Oh, you're going to cut it? I'm going to cut them because oh, guess a, what? That's a good to cut Well, they better not charge me a cut fee. It's not going to be a problem. Yeah, we take the saws on there, guys. Like, oh, we're gonna charge you if you cut any metal. There's a thirty-five to hundred dollar cut fee. I'm like, what? What? It's not like that. what? You need? So if I need to cut something out, you know, they already make their money on these cars, and they come in the yard. Second, they come in the yard, they've already made their money back there. Oh, you can't cut anything. Get the hell out of here. Crazy. All right, next I need to get down here, get this rag joint apart to get it out. I also need that shifter. I gotta climb under the van. Ah! What do we got here? Oh yeah. 
I'm looking. Good. I'm looking. I need all that shifter linkage action. I don't need that. Ah, that's all wet, dude. That floor mat's soaking wet. That's nasty. Oh, look at this. Huh. Bolts to the frame over here. Ooh, hope I can get those off because I think I might need might need that. Well, that's how the fuel pumps work. They're all kimchi cob in there like that. I see. You all right with that? Yeah. Just looking. Just just looking. Just looking. Alright. I gotta uh unhook a whole bunch of stuff here. Freeze up. You got no spray. Me too. I'm looking at everything. Yeah, I got no spray. I hope that comes off. It's the moment we all been waiting for. It's gonna come out. It's gonna come out here. Like pulling the tooth. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. Look at that. <coughs> uh oh, COVID. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Gear selector fell off. Here we go. We'll go back on. <coughs> it was just kind of sitting on there. It's got to be a snap. Hope you didn't uh, break the, it. The tab is bro broken there. You'll have to cement it. Ta da! You'll have to cement it. Do something. Whew! Get my bolts. Get my tools. All right, liberated that column. There we go. Perfect. Still haven't found the key. Guess we're SOL on the key. Dang it. It's only 20 to 11. You the end good. What else do I need off this thing? Holding. Got to look around. It's got really nice fenders on it, actually. Oh, this one's got some filler in it here. Fenders are super solid. I don't need any fenders, I don't think. Plus, you can buy them aftermarket if you need them. I don't need any lenses or door handles or hit some uh, aluminum wheels in it here. I think I'm good for parts now. This thing, the rest of this thing's kind of kind of roached out. I was going to take this, but it's got a bunch of holes in it. I think I'm good with that. We're going to go look at one other van and get some parts and get the heck out of here. All right, bam, here we go in this other van. It's 89. I got the uh, radio surround and all the controls, which I needed. And actually, we tumbled the lock cylinder out of it, stuck a little screw in the hole and pushed it out. So now I got a key for that other column. That was a good score. Rebuild it at the junkyard. That's a pro tip. So this van was like a high top van and a wheelchair van. I, I was looking at these new tires, but they're dry rotted, both of them. They, they look new, but they got dry rotted. So this thing is roached. It's a 306 with a C6 or a C4 automatic, and uh, a little rustier than the rest than the other one. Look at that. Well, that's it. I got my van parts. Let's go see how much these jokers at the counter are going to charge me. I got a feeling I have to argue with them uh, about everything, but we'll see. Because they. Uh, Freaking argue to me about that cutting. You can't cut any, can't be cutting metal, can't be cutting metal, It'll charge you $35 to $150 for every metal cut you make. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? So, I'll go up front and I'll see what's going to happen. We'll see how much all this junk for that van I got costs. Okay, let's go over the haul here now I'm back. I got the radio, which I believe is the correct radio for this van. The one I took it out of, my van's an 88, the one I took it out of is an 89. I believe this is going to be the correct radio um, because it has the the large digital dash and my stock panel piece also has that large piece. I got the two tail lights, which I needed. These original Ford units. I needed the driver's side one because mine is cracked, so I got both those. I got the AOD shift linkage all the way up to the column, including the bracket that bolts to the uh, frame. 
and my van actually has this bracket in place which I didn't realize but I needed the part to go to the transmission and then this is to go to the column so I needed these two rods but I got the whole thing just because I wasn't sure what I had um, I got a heater control which mine uh, this is out of a van that had air mine doesn't have air and uh, I wasn't sure if I needed this or not, so I got, I grabbed it anyways. Mine, they had to remove the blower switch and put it up on a different panel, but I have that, and I got an extra one, so I've got this just for uh, for parts. And then I needed this panel. Mine, the, the windshield washer switch, they cut right out and ruined this panel, so I got this with the windshield washer switch, and it also has a brand new headlight switch that I took out of the other van and put it in this panel, rebuild the parts at the junkyard. That's a pro tip. So I put the uh, brand new headlight switch in here with the correct uh, thing. So I got this panel that I needed and then uh, I got the column bottom plastic, which I actually had in the van. So I didn't need that, but I got it anyways. And then I've got the steering column for the AOD, which shifting mechanism is in my toolbox, but I've got the correct column for the van with the correct wire hookups. You can see here um, on the ignition switch, itself the wiring and this is for the turn signals and all that that was a big bonus because in my van they've cut it off and they ran these wires over to the pod switch with the start and ignition so i got the wires these all match up the yellows the gray and the green of the tracer and all that so now i can splice that connector i got um, with the column back onto the original wiring harness here and plug the ignition switch into the column. Then you look down here is the turn signal wires, which I just need to reconnect where they had them all buggered together to extra wires. I just need to connect all these back on to the original turn signal harness and then that the column will function correctly. Here's that headlight uh, surround with the wipers. You can see where they carved all that out. So that's why I got that there. I've already, uh, I've got to fix this wiring, but I've already moved the extra wires for the headlight switch. So I've just got a couple of wires I need to hook up. This is for a lamp, for the uh, lunch washer lamp, I, I think. But I've got pretty much all my wiring figured out. This, I believe, is the, what's that say? Blower switch, which is loose here. That'll hook back up. Um, you can see here this van does not have AC, it's just got a blower, but they'd remove the switch so I can put that back in, but at least I've got options, and then the radio will bolt back in here where it goes. So I'm pretty much got everything figured out. I have the AOD transmission here on the 302, and I've got the bracketry now to hook that back up. So the next, the first step really on building this van is going to be getting it over by the garage, taking all this floor pan here where they have the, the raised pan that goes into the wheel well, cutting all this back out of the van, and there's some cross members on here I need to remove from underneath, and then I can drop the body back down onto the onto the frame where it's supposed to be, get rid of the body lift, and then, uh, then I can put the steering column back in. So I'm going to have to use this tiller unit here, uh, which had the electric tiller for it. I'm going to have to use this to steer the van into place, but... At least I've got the column now. I can then I can really and I got all the rest of the dash. So I can button all this wiring back up and get the thing functional again. The one thing I took out of the other van is the AOD column here didn't have a key, but the other van that had the three-speed uh, C4 I guess transmission or C3 whatever it would have been had the steering wheel missing. So I was able to remove the lock cylinder. So now I can swap lock cylinders and I'll have an ignition key for this column. That was a good score there. I also diagnosed my problem. I got the sloppy shifter here. But as you can see, there is a roll pin that mounts the pin there, and it has pulled out of the top of the harness. So that's why this is all sloppy. So I can just take a drift and pound this roll pin back in. That'll fix that. So that's good. And I got the rest of the column with my harness connectors right on it so I can know how to re-terminate this. And I needed that connector. It was missing. So that's good. And this bolts right on to the steering box, which is here. So all I literally need to do after I set the body down is bolt back onto the steering box, and that'll be fine. Um, I got some miscellaneous power steering lines that went to controls. I've got to redo this. I'll probably just buy brand new power steering lines and hook them up correctly to the pump. But as you can see, this van has a 3-inch body lift. If I come out here on the side, you'll see it better. Ah, see these 3-inch blocks here to accommodate that raised floor section? They pick the whole body up three inches so I'll, I will need to unbolt the entire body jack it up and remove these these blocks here and then set it back down on the factory mounts 
So now in all, that was a good score for the old uh, Quick Speed Shop buggy van build here. You can see I got a, I had the broken tail light here, so I'm glad I got my new tail light for this side. And uh, this had the original tail lights in it. You can tell they've got the Ford insignia and the 74 TK when they got the uh, DOT approval for to change the body style in 70. 75 would have been the first body style, but they got the approval in 74. So I'm glad I got factory style tail lights, not aftermarket ones. And the one thing I did forget is I need a latch for the rear of the, the where the door, or I'm sorry, I need the latch for the door because this had a power door and I forgot to get it. The one van had a slider and uh, I forgot to get the latch. So I've got to probably just buy one on eBay or something or I can go back to the junkyard and get that. But a good step here, got some, the final pieces of my puzzle here to put this thing back together. So that was a good day in the junkyard today of old Ted. And uh, I finally got the, the pieces. It took me quite a while to find a van with a steering column. These vans have all dried up around here. They crushed them all out a couple years ago when scrap was super high. And usually there used to be vans all over the place in the junkyards and they stored stuff in them while they, they crushed a lot of them out. So I'm happy that I got the steering column. I'm happy with the key and the dash parts and uh, it worked out fine. I think I, I got like $200 in all those parts, which is a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but prices are you know, like stuck you know stupid on stuff now and i can't find any used vans i'd buy a whole parts van for a couple hundred bucks but i can't find any and so i had to do what i had to do i had to buy all those parts even though i might not need all of them it's better to have i'd rather be looking at it than looking for it so i got some parts now i'm going to start on this project real soon i know you guys have been watching the 1940 mercury build that's wrapping up now i'm going to get that thing on the road here the next one or next couple of videos that's going to be on the road and I've got to get on this thing because I'm taking it to Hershey in the fall for the Hershey fall meet. And now it is, uh, what's it like, third week of July. So I've got to really get on this thing and get it done, build it by October. And uh, that means getting it running, fishing, finishing up all the wiring, putting the steering column in it, putting new brakes on it, a um, bunch of other things. So I got a ton of work to do, and it's hot out, and I've been working on everything else like the gas station. Working six days a week at work, so i got to get on this thing. i, I got to get it done for Hershey. So... Stay tuned for custom van, boogie van action. That's coming up here on the channel. And I'm glad I got some of my parts. And uh, in a few weeks, you'll be seeing me ripping this thing full time. We'll be building on this 1988 Ford Econ line, backdating it to 1977, and turning it to one awesome custom 70s boogie van. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again right here at the Quick Speed Shop. Okay, here we are in the uh, the old vehicle section. Check this out. We got a custom shorty Chevy. It had bubble windows. Somebody got them. Look at this thing. It's a panel shorty. Bam! This is somebody's shag and wagon back in the day. Look at that shag. This is a full-on setup in here. Man, this is awesome. Skylight, small block Chevrolet. Somebody's been over it. Look at the seat covers. Velour on the seats. This thing's badass. Pedal seats. Smells like bango skank in here. Bango skank. Oh, look at that. Somebody took the window out of this side. It's a 76. Look at that. Dang. Look at this thing. A little crew cab action. Got here is 79. She stripped right out. Oh. Try to get in a Thunderbird. It's probably a 390. It's a 61 bird. 61. Oh. Can we get in her? Oh yeah. Oh. Nasty. Look at that. 61. 61 Thunder Chicken. Oh my god, look at the roof. 1975 Jeep over there. And the Lando top didn't do it no good. Holy crap, it's the uh, the aluminum wheels from my, I'm running my Model A truck. There's two of them. These are the aluminum wheels I run on my Model A hot rod truck. Oh wow. I'm getting these because these are super hard to find. Oh shit. They must have they been. Come off that Lincoln. There's a whole set of them. 
Oh, yeah, they are in a Lincoln. They're the five-on-five five bolt pattern ones. Is that going to fit you? No. Oh, I can't get them. Good right. thing you said that. Yep. Yeah, they're Lincoln. They're five-on-five. Five. They're the same ones I got, but a five-on-five five pattern. Holy shamoly. Oh, there's a Jeep. Let's go to the Jeep. 75. Go to the Jeep. Ha ha. Bucket van. Got a CJ5 here. Oh, tranny's missing. Look at this. Two thirty two or two fifty eight. It's a three fifty one M or a four hundred. Things in, whoa, got bees here, hornets. Got hornets everywhere, look out. Oh, no way, it's uh, this is a Super Camper Special. This is a Super Camper Special with the long box, so the, uh, yeah, we just saw one. they got the, uh, the spare behind the, the yeah, there it is, falling right out. No way. This is a rare truck, too bad it's completely garbage. Should have uh, what it said Super Camper Special on it. No kidding. Look at this T Top Monty with a fresh paint job. Yeah, I painted my Monty. We put fresh paint on it. We took it immediately to the junkyard. Took it immediately to the junkyard. Build a stock car. Build a stock car. What we got here? A Ram Charger. Look at the LTD. Mini LTD with the, the V6 in it. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. So got a... Yeah, V6. No, that's a V8 in it. This thing's got a V8 in it. What in the world is going on here? It's got a 302 in it. No way. This thing would be a freaking screamer. I need a 302 powered LTD. Oh, look at the Gremlin. Oh my God, there's a 73 or four Gremlin here. What is it? 73. We looked at that before. I, at that. I didn't, I haven't seen this before. Dude. Man, it's rotten. Look at the Gremlin. I had a 76 Gremlin. Oh, it's got the... I should try to get that. Ooh, it smells terrible in here. Terrible! Man. That's awesome. Had a roof rack on it. Or, I'm sorry, I had the spoiler. No, I had a roof rack. Yeah, 258. How about that? Look at the citation. Got the Iron Duke in it. Man, that thing is mint. I made a trailer out of a rear axle out of a Citation one time. I had it for years and years. Oh, there's a Breda down there. I kind of always wanted a Breda. Oh, there's an Eagle down there on the end, or a Concord down there, the black one. We're going down there and check it out. Comanche. Look at this Mint Cavalier. This is like an 84, 85. What year is it? Where's the sticker? 86. Man, this is styling. You know it's bad when you get excited over seeing 80s cars in the junkyard. You know it's bad. I used to work on these brand new in the body shop, 92, 93. I used to take the front ends of these part all the time. These Now they're all in here, they're all gone. This is an Eagle Sport. It's got the blacked out trim, the Sport mirrors. You know, it might not be a sport. It might just be a Eagle semi paint all black, but it's got the sport mirrors on it. it would have had the aluminum valve cover being 87. 
aluminum valve cover head. Yeah. No factory front skid plate. This is 87. This is the last of the run here. Yeah, well, they made some 88s, a couple of them, but. Look at the K-Cars, it's K-Car City over here. K-Car City. Blazer. Here's another Jeep. That one's been in a while. Let's get the hell out of that. Look at the Corvair. Somebody got the motor out of this you one. You they killed this? Last year they sold only 2,000. Well, it's 60, Nader, 60, Nader screwed them. Well, in 69 was last year. His yeah, book, yeah, Nader screwed them. His book was talking about the first generation. Somebody got the engine out of this one. I'm just kidding, it's in the back. There it is. Air cooled flat six. Oh, smash. This is like a 65 on up. 66. There we go. And look at this Jeep. That thing is roached. Roached big time. Broken right in half. You'll have that. Dang, bro. Now what we got here, first we got a first generation Corvair. These are the ones that Ralph Nader was crying about. But look at here, you think it's a Chevy Cavalier? Oh no, this is the high dollar one. You don't just get the Cavalier, this is the Cadillac Cimarron. So you take yourself a little uh, box Cavalier and add a ton of money to it in a leather interior and you got yourself a little Cadillac. Hot dang. Well, Cadillac Cimarron. What new plugs they put in there? What in the world is this thing? Rolled it right over and smashed it. Oh, it's a Jagger. What is this? Fiat. Man, looks like somebody ran right over the back of it. How did that happen? Oh, here it is. Somebody took the back of it. It's got brand new plugs in it. That's got to be a good sign. Fan cooled, air cooled motor. Ooh, she rocked. Looks like this Mustang was a thousand bucks. Nobody wanted it. Is it a Mustang or? Yeah, I think it's a Mustang. Yeah, it's a Mustang. Wasn't sure if it was a Mercury Capri, but oh, you know what? It doesn't have the flared bubble flares. It's yeah, it's a Mustang. And another rusty blazer. Holy moly. Look at that rust. It's like a Super Beetle, ain't it? Or is it a Camry Gear? What is it? Yeah. Not interested. Look at this mint old school Skyhawk. This has got to be an early one, like an 82 or 3 or, well, maybe the four headlights. I'm going to guess 83. Where's the sticker? 88? Oh. Well, son of a gun. Junk. Yeah, we don't see this crap around here anymore. It's all gone. Let's go back to the 80s. Can't we just go back to the 80s? That'd be a lot better. <laughs> 